Hi friends, welcome to History Mysteries. Today we are going to know about Chhatrapati Shivaji. Chhatrapati Shivaji was born on February 19th, 1630 in Shivanar, Pune, India. He was the founder of Maratha Kingdom of India. The kingdom's security was based on religious toleration and on the functional integration of the Brahmins, Marathas and Prabhus. Shivaji Bhonsle, also referred to as Chhatrapati Shivaji, was an Indian ruler and a member of the Bhonsle Maratha clan. Shivaji carved out an enclave from the declining Adil Shahi Sultanates of Bijapur that formed the genesis of the Maratha kingdom. In 1674, he was formally crowned the Chhatrapati of his realm at Raigad Fort. Shivaji was descendant from a line of prominent nobles. India at that time was under Muslim rule. The Mughals in the north and the Muslim sultans of Bijapur and Golconda in the south, all three ruled by right of the conquest with no pretense that they had any obligation towards those who they ruled. Shivaji, whom ancestral estates were situated in Deccan, in the realms of Bijapur sultans, found the Muslim oppression and religious persecution of the Hindus so intolerable that by the time he was 16, he convinced himself that he was the deviantly appointed instrument of the cause of Hindu freedom, a conviction that was to sustain him throughout his life. Collecting a band of followers, he began about 1655 to seize the weaker Bijapur outpost in the process. He destroyed a few of his influential co-religionists who had aligned themselves with the Sultans. All the same, his daring and military skills combined with his sternness towards the oppression of the Hindus won him much admiration. His depredation grew increasingly audacious and several minor expeditions sent to chastise him proved ineffective. When the Sultans of Bijapur in 1659 sent an army of 20,000 under Afzal Khan to defeat him, Shivaji, pretending to be intimidated, attacked the force deeply into difficult mountain terrain and then killed Afzal Khan at a meeting to which he had lured him by submissive appeals. Meanwhile, hand-picked troops that had been previously positioned swooped down on the unwary Bijapur army and routed it. Overnight, Shivaji had become a formidable warlord, possessing the horse, the guns and the ammunition of the Bijapur army. Alarmed by Shivaji's rising strength, the Mughal emperor Aurangzeb ordered his viceroy of the south to march against him. Shivaji countered by carrying out a daring midnight ride right within the viceroy's encampment in which the viceroy lost the fingers of one hand and his son was killed. Discomforted by his reverse, the viceroy withdrew his force. Shivaji, as though to provoke the Mughals further, attacked the rich coastal town of Surat and took immense booty. Aurangzeb could hardly ignore, so flaunting a challenge and send out his most prominent general, Mirza Raja Jai Singh. At the head of an army set to number some 100,000 men, the pressure that was exerted by his vast force combined with the drive and tenacity of Jai Singh soon compelled Shivaji to sue for a peace and to undertake that he and his son would attained Aurangzeb's court at Agra in order to be formally accepted as Mughal's vassals. In Agra, hundreds of miles from their hometown, Shivaji and his son were placed under house arrest where they lived under the threat of execution. Unfeared Shivaji pretended ill and as a form of penance began to send out immense baskets filled with sweets to be distributed among the poor. On August 17, 1666, 
he and his son had themselves carried past their guards in this basket his escape possibly the most thrilling episode in a life filled with high drama was to change the course of indian history his followers welcomed him back as their leader and within 2 years he not only had won all the lost territory but had expanded his domain he collected tribute from moguls and plundered their rich cities he reorganized the army and instituted reforms for the welfare of his subjects taking a lessons from the portuguese and english traders who had already gained toehold in india he began the building of a naval force he was the first indian ruler of his time to use his sea power to trade as well as for defense almost as though prodded by shivaji's meteoric rise aurangzeb intensified his persecution of hindus he imposed a poll tax on them conveyed at forcible conversions and demolished temples erecting mosques in their place in the summer of 1674 Shivaji had himself enthroned with great fanfare as an independent ruler the suppressed hindu majority rallied to him as their leader he ruled his domain for 6 years through a cabinet of 8 ministers a devout hindu who prided himself as the protector of his religion he broke traditions by commanding the two of his relatives who had been forcibly converted to islam should be taken back into hindu fold yet even though both christian and muslims often imposed their creed on the populace by force he respected the beliefs and protected the place of worship of both community many muslims were in his service after his coronation his most noteworthy campaign was in the south during which he forged an alliance with the sultans and thereby blocking the grand design of the moguls to spread their rule over the entire subcontinent shivaji had several wives and two sons his last year were shadowed by the apostates of his elder son who at one stage defeated by the moguls and was brought back only with the utmost difficulty the strain of guarding his kingdom from its enemies in the face of bitter domestic conflicts and discord among his ministers hastened his end the man that british politician and author thomas babington macaulay called the great shivaji died after a an illness in april 1680 in the mountain stronghold of rajka which he had made his capital finally in a place and age stained by the religious savagery he was only one of the few rulers who practiced true religious tolerance he always believed that freedom is a boon which everyone has the right to receive thank you for watching our videos for more information please do like share and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can never miss my videos